Hi guys and welcome back. Um, so, welcome back to me too because clearly I've been MIA and that's not by choice to be honest. Like in my head obviously when I announced that I'm pregnant I had so much that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so updates like just like ongoing updates basically so where i'm at this that and that what i'm feeling what's going on preparations all of that but unfortunately uh pregnancy tired is a different type of tired like this tiredness is just so overwhelming and to be honest like in this season i've allowed myself grace because i actually can't come kill myself like it's just too much um so i've just allowed myself to rest and if i can't physically do something at that moment or if i'm bat battling with my mind so much i just leave it because i'm just like no just take a chill pill because i'll never get this time again do you know what i mean to just just rest and just be present present in my pregnancy um because i feel like sometimes we do want to just keep sharing and just keep on the go and everything where sometimes you're just being told to be still so um just listen to my body a lot because i've been in so many situations where i don't listen to my body and then my body forces me to calm down so um obviously with carrying a child how i am my well-being is so important uh for him as well so i was just like you know what i'll do things when i can um so obviously i still haven't done my second trimester video and we're long past second trimester um so i'll probably still do it but just like a recap and a summary of how i felt the symptoms that i still had and that kind of thing uh for those people who may be interested or are at that part of their journey so I'm not too far along now from giving birth and it's been uh, yeah sometimes I'll have like nightmares about like c-section and just have like really overwhelming thoughts because obviously I'm so close to the end and I'm gonna have to go through that process so you're like oh my gosh I don't know what to do because I guess sometimes we can definitely plan what we want um, in terms of like a birth plan and whatever but ultimately what happens at that moment might not necessarily be what you wanted initially um so yeah it's been quite overwhelming for me but I think I've had to just really emotionally prepare myself for a lot of things um but I think if I'm in that sort of space I'll be able to sort of endure any surprises basically um but it's just been a thing of just praying and just being really faithful in the season and just trusting that god will do what's meant to happen basically um yeah but that's where we're at but enough of all that rambling today i'm coming to you guys with my hospital bag what's in my hospital bag so when looking online uh hospital bags are very expensive like um i was seeing 130 pounds this that and the other and i was just like you know what it's really just not worth it right now um i'm not gonna spend 130 pounds on a hospital bag i think that's just really unrealistic um yeah no <laughs> Um, so I did find a four piece set which is like a toiletry bag, a makeup bag, a hand baggy type of bag and like a duffel bag suitcase type thing um, and it was only $24.99. Obviously if you're that person who is going to be using um, this bag so often then obviously I would maybe recommend that you get something a little bit more pricey something better quality but this is definitely going to serve its purpose i had a look through the reviews and every mummy that has used this um for as a hospital bag has really been fine they've been impressed um yeah good reviews on it so i'll show you guys um the bag set right now and then we can just talk through what i actually have in the bags so this is the hand baggy type thing so this one will be baby's bag there's already some stuff in there and then we have the like a little makeup bag type thing and then this is the toiletry bag and then this will be my bag which is like the duffel bag <laughs> oh it's quite big like a duffel bag and it's got some wheels as well so that was the set so it was only 24.99 and to be honest quite happy with it um don't really have anything to say that's bad um so yeah 
talk to you guys through my hospital bag so my list i actually got it online um so if you're pregnant you would know this channel called channel mom and there's this lady on there who speaks predominantly on it i think her name is charlotte or something um so i just read through her list on like her blog page uh obviously i think she's got three kids or something so she's got so much experience uh with going to the hospital so here is my list uh can't really see it here's my list most of the stuff was mine to be honest and not too much for baby there um so yeah i'll just show you or well, actually i'll read to you what i have here first and then i'll show you guys what i have and where i got it from basically so i've got like my bonnet obviously and headscarf because <laughs> this is coming all the way off <laughs> I can imagine like labor how stressful it's gonna be i might not necessarily want like hair on me or whatever so what is a headscarf then i've got hair bands uh for when i do put my wig on might get a cute little pick in there who knows i don't know how long i'm gonna be in there for um so we've got shower gel you know a uh, sponge to shower got some lotion roll-on perfume but with the perfume i don't think i'll wear it because obviously baby um might react to it and also i think one of my mummy friends also said like babies want to get attached to your scent and obviously perfume is quite strong so i ended up not actually putting it in there i just left it out so as long as i smile nice and clean that's all that matters so i might leave that out so we've got toothpaste toothbrush mouthwash and then like my skincare routine so cleanser serum moisturizer toner that kind of thing and some cotton pads and then we've got the big maternity pads um in case i'm bleeding Bleeding and whatever and then we've got some nipple cream uh, some nursing pads and then we've got paracetamol just in case but I would assume the hospital can also give you some and then we've got tea tree oil that's just part of my face routine um, and then we've got big towel face towel maternity pajamas so one that ones that are easily accessible for me to breastfeed and comfortable as well then i got one pair of cute pajamas just in case i get that pic <laughs> um and then oversized t-shirts and then going home outfit fluffy socks nursing bras so for that one i got seamless ones and then we've got airpods phone charger uh, my camera and then like a little tripod some makeup just in case i get the chance or whatever and then like snacks and stuff and then for baby we've got nappies we've got wipes we've got nappy cream we've got a uh, three to four like vest so full on full body vest thingies um and then three to four sleep suits and then we've got some cotton hats uh we've got baby's leaving um hospital suit so i got him like um a sleep suit and then we've got some muslin cloths a cellular blanket some bottles um so some milk bottles and then a going home blanket cotton wool but i didn't end up getting cotton wool i got um cotton pleats and then we have some moisturizer as well um so i do think i have like a couple of things to still get for me can't remember what they are at the top of my head right now but i will remember but basically i've got the majority of the things that i will really 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 need um so yeah i'll just go through all of that with you guys let you know where i got the things because i did recently get the stuff so um if you wanted to look in the shops and stuff and online then obviously uh they'll still be available okay so we'll basically just start with my things uh, so these are the maternity pads that i got uh, from Amazon. I don't know if you can ugh, probably see that. Um, so there's quite a lot in there, um, and it says that they're super. They have super absorption. Um, so I'll put the link in the link below. So uh, with stuff like my pads and like the nipple pads as well, I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag uh, so that they're just safe and secure in there and won't catch too much bacteria in the air because obviously i don't want to take like the whole pack so i'm just going to take like some and then yeah just basically compress it so it all fits in the bag and then in terms of my um nursing pads i got these ones oh, let me just turn this down so i got these ones here i actually got two because these ones i got sent and i'd already bought my own ones from amazon 
if I can find them, which are these ones. So I'll just have to see which ones are better. My so I'll just have to see which ones are better between these and these. I'll take both, um, so a few of both, and then see uh, what happens. So these, I think, are just like on their own type thing, so an all-rounder. And what I mean by that is that in this pack, uh, there's some for daytime and then there's some for um, nighttime as well. So we'll just see which ones work better. And then... Moving on to the stuff that I've already packed. I reckon there's some stuff missing in there, you know, because I was in the middle of washing stuff and also um, I used some of the stuff, which is not great, but whatever. Um, so I've got some slippers from Primark. So these are only like 90p, but these are the most comfortable slippers. If you know, you know. So I've just got these for the hospital, probably use them for like shower and that kind of thing. And then we have... So like my towel so I got blue so I need you guys to see this blue because it's so cute I got this type of blue because obviously I'm having a boy and I just want to keep within color scheme uh, so I've got I'm gonna carry two face towels and then I have uh, the bigger towel as well for like showering and stuff like that so I've only carried one big towel um, if I do need another one depending how long I stay there um, I can obviously just ask to father to bring me one but I don't want to really overpack because obviously space is quite crucial at this point and if you have too much like uh, like thick things things are not gonna fit and that's gonna be really annoying so I'll just take one I'll take two face towels just in case I need them for anything and then I bought these seamless bras uh, I'll just turn the lighting down a bit so that you can see so these are so comfortable I'm actually wearing one right now um, so let me turn it down So this is what they look like so they just open up and obviously as you can see your breasts will just pop out so they'll be so um easy when breastfeeding yeah so these will be so easy when breastfeeding and they're so comfortable i've never worn something so comfortable in all of my life and guys let's just talk about how saggy your boob your boobs get my boobs have gotten so saggy and i'm looking at them in the mirror like girl you haven't even breastfed yet and your boobs look like that <laughs> it's so crazy like how much your body changes but um yeah so i got these as a three pack so in the three pack came white beige and black so i probably won't take the white one i don't think it's a great color um for like the hospital so i'll probably take the black and the beige one or i might just actually buy two other like black ones just in case i need them as well because you just don't know what's going to happen um whether they get absolutely soaked or something happens you know so i think i should just take a few more as well and then i have my sponge which is blue as well to match my towel so when i'm washing so i have this type of sponge and i also have the the puffer one but that one i couldn't find a pink uh, a blue one yeah so i had to get a pink one because i couldn't find a blue one um so i think it's in here yeah so it's in my toiletry bag right here so i've already packed this so i just got doubles of um what i already have at home so things like um wipes in case of anything some cotton pads for like my skincare routine some roll-on um the hair bands i've got my tea tree oil um i have my toothpaste um an electric toothbrush my mouthwash and some floss so that's what i have in there at the moment and then in here i'm just gonna pack a few like makeup bits um just in case i do get a chance to take a photo or something just to like clean up a bit i'm probably not gonna like obviously put like loads of makeup on or anything like that will probably just be like a little bit to cover some dark spots or something so i look a little bit presentable um but yeah and then i have my coming home outfit which is a very baggy tracksuit um so you can't really see that so that's my really baggy tracksuit um because obviously you guys know i live in like beige and like neutrals so it says mama at the front and it's really oversized 
and then it's got its tracksuit bottoms as well which same mama there because i'm gonna be a mama so i'm gonna come home in beige uh so me and baby were actually gonna match um he was gonna wear like a dark brown um sleep suit which i did buy absolutely loved it and everything because i said that he's always gonna come home in like a a sleep suit type thing i'll show you the brown sleep suit um which is this one so this is from H&M like it's so cute and it's so fuzzy but what I realized is oh and it's got like a little tail at the back but uh, what I realized is that this is actually really really big um, I think it says zero to one month so this is zero to one month but then when I saw another sleep suit in a shop which was basically newborn but you'd expect them to be quite similar in size but they actually weren't so now he's gonna have to wear gray so he's gonna wear this one which is quite similar but this one is more cozy and a little bit thicker to be honest and it's loads smaller so in terms of size comparison if i put them next to each other this is where that one reaches and this is where that one reaches so it's significantly bigger so you can see the gray one so this is what it looks like and it's also fleecy on not fleece this is not fleece i'm really lying i don't know what material that is so this has got two zips at the front which is like that and it's so tiny so cute and i think this one will literally be more his size to be fair so he's gonna wear this gray one and then as obviously winter's approaching he'll fit into this one soon I actually need to get this in like um, a cream or uh, like whitish colour but this I'm absolutely in love and obviously um, it's just got the thing where you turn around and it's closed so this is absolutely amazing I can't wait to like just cuddle him in this so cute so going on with what I bought um, for myself obviously got some lotion uh, so this is like all the toiletry kind of things and then in here what is this girl I think these are okay these are the um, the uh, breast pads I've already packed them away so in these type of ziploc bags and then I've got some fluffy socks so I've got two pairs because it might be a little bit cold I don't know and I hate being cold like being cold is probably the worst thing in life um, so you just have to be prepared okay so I also bought some Sanix um, just for washing and stuff um, so this one is 0% fragrance 0% sulfates 0% colorant 0% soap and this for sensitive skin um, because I just need to make sure that obviously in case things are all bruised up in there and whatever that I'm staying away from any sort of like things that will irritate my skin and also baby skin so I just need to be super careful but Sanix I really love it and I use that anyways most of the time and then um i have here some cotton pleats so these um well cotton wool pleats so those are the um the thicker padded stuff um just in terms of like cleaning baby or something my mom just advised me to get these um just for the initial clean or something i can't remember what she said but just to like wipe him away and stuff because um I think just to wipe him away or something. I can't remember what she said, but yeah, I've got some of those. And then I've got some um, cute pyjamas in here. Again, we've got the blue. So these are silk, just in case I get my pick. Uh, but I can definitely use these after uh, babies here. So they are just like um, the typical um, silk buttony ones at the front and then these are the bottoms so i absolutely love these um they're so comfortable and just yeah because i got them just like a size bigger or something so that i have enough room to just be in there and especially in case i have a c-section and stuff i need to make sure like everything is like super comfy around like my tummy area and yeah nothing is being too pressed or anything but these are predominantly for my pick because essentially I have two other um, 
pyjama set or like um, what's it called night dresses that are really really comfortable so I think I'll be fine so one of them is this one from Boohoo so I've got a really large size I've got it in a size 10 and even now when I'm pregnant it's still quite huge um, so it's just like a button up dress and it's like jersey material and it's like this long so this is so comfortable like honestly but i literally look like a little grandma in it <laughs> which is quite interesting but comfort over anything please like honestly in this season that's something that i've just really realized like when you're pregnant a lot of this stuff just yeah it just doesn't matter you're just thinking about like comfortability and yeah you just being good like good internally and stuff so yeah that's most of my stuff i don't know if i've forgotten anything because i don't think everything uh, is in these bags but anyways i've told you guys the list of stuff that i have so yeah you can just take what you will from there i'm also going to take some fluffy slippers just for comfort because black slippers that i've taken will probably be like for the shower and stuff more hygiene based stuff but just for comfort i might take some fluffy slippers as well so for baby we've got this blanket i've already shown you guys this blanket um in stuff that i've loved so far or something like that stuff that i bought so this is the one with like the fleecy inside so i may use this as his blanket um for the car seat or if it's like really cold inside the hospital but i did want to um buy a personalized one for him for his car seat and everything um but the one that i saw i don't know if it's worth spending that much on a blanket it's like 52 pounds um which as a first time mom sometimes you just end up just buying things just because and i reckon i will still buy it because i really really love it um it's from like isaac anthony or something like that and even if i had the blanket i wouldn't be able to show you guys anyways because his name will be on there and obviously i think we will reveal his name after he's born because i think initially i didn't really mind not too fast but i was just like okay cool we'll just do it after he's born um so in his bag i don't think i have everything in there as well um because i have just packed some things but some things need either ironing or they've just come out the wash or um i'm still yet yet to buy just a few bits but literally 90 but literally 98% of the stuff we already have. So I've got like a little muslin cloth. Well, a bigger one. Um, yeah, I've got a big muslin cloth here. Which has got like dinosaurs and stuff. Okay, so yeah, we've got the big muslin cloth. Um, and then in here also I've got some wipes. So I've got the ones from Aldi. So the Mamiya Sensitive Fragrance Free uh, for Delicate Skin, blah, blah, blah. So um, I did get recommended these by a mummy friend as well. Um, so I think these are quite good um, in terms of reviews. So I think a lot of people are just buying that Aldi brand now instead of like Pampers and stuff like that. And I was so surprised how cheap these things are. So the, the uh, wipes and the nappies are so cheap. Um, but yeah, so I've carried lots of nappies in here. So, because I got two types of these Mamiya um, nappies, I think there were some which were like premium and some which were like just normal. Um, I didn't, I didn't know which ones to take, so I've just taken both to be honest. Uh, so I've got loads of nappies for baby as well, and then um, I got some moisturizer, and this is from Child's Farm. Also, you can see Child's Farm and then some nappy cream from Child's Farm as well. And then we've got a cellular blanket. So that's just that blanket with like holes and stuff. So I've got one of these. Um, I think one will be enough to be fair. But I might take a second one just in case, you know, something gets wet or whatever. So I've got one of those. And then I got three muslin cloths here, so smaller ones. Um, I'll put it here so you can see. I got one, 
two and three i don't know if i should take more than that because the only thing is you don't know how long you're going to be in hospital but i would like to hope i'm not in there for too long uh, and then again to be fair if i forget anything then Tfazu can obviously just bring it over because the hospital is not too far from our house um and then i've got some socks a few pairs of socks i've got some mittens as well um how many pairs of socks did i take I think I'm going to take three pairs of socks um, because he can just repeat his socks, isn't it? They're not going to get dirty or anything. And then, oh, I ironed his hats, but then now they're all wrinkly. Anyways, I've got one hat, two hat, three hat, and four. The reason why I have four is because I'm not sure. Like, these all go with... Um, the uh sleep suits that i have so just in case i want to do matchy matchy for him that's why i've taken all four but he probably obviously won't need um all four pairs um he probably won't need all four hats so i've got a few of these so um long sleeve but with no legs so um i've got a few so i've got one two and then i've got some oh let me just put that there Oh yeah, and I've got another one as well. This is really tiny. And then we've got normal like little vesty type things. Oh my gosh, I ironed all these things. Now they're all crinkly. That's really annoying. But um, yeah, we've got these. No long arms and no long legs. Just for options. And then we've got long arms and long legs. This one is so cute. It says born in 2021. And then I've got quite a few white ones, which are also long sleeved and leg long legs, basically. And then, yeah, a few more of these with no legs. So something like this, I'll probably put on him um, with his sleep suit while coming home. So he's like warm up here, but um, yeah, not too like hot. So yeah, I've just taken loads of like sleep suits and stuff in there as well. And then I've got baby bottles. So I've just taken two of these. So I'm still yet to sterilize these bottles because I literally only opened them today to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have for baby. I'm not sure if I've missed anything out, but like I said, the list that I wrote is the things that I'm gonna take. So I've just realized for me, I haven't yet bought my nipple cream and that's why I need to buy. So that's one thing that I had actually forgotten. Um, and there was something else that I really, 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 really needed to buy, but we'll see anyways i'll probably go through my list again because after my baby shower which is in seven days um i'm not doing anything i'm not coming out of the house i'm gonna be at home and just chilling basically waiting for the baby to come so everything will basically be packed and i'm gonna put it by the door uh very cliche and what everybody does or maybe just in the movies i don't know but um yeah just to be really really prepared everything is done and i'm quite impressed and happy with myself because i've managed to sort it out way before um needed to be honest so um yeah that's basically it like honestly right now it's just a waiting game for him to come but i actually think he might be a little bit late because every time we've gone to see him he's literally all squished up in the placenta and he's so comfortable i don't know at what point um my guy's gonna say Do you know what it's time to exit he looks very very comfortable not gonna lie but um just so grateful to god that we've managed to even make it this far Do you know what i mean like pregnancy is so hard and is so uncertain and anything can happen happen at any point so for us to even have made it this far to the point of like preparation is just so insane because yeah it's just a whirlwind like honestly pregnancy is just not you getting pregnant and then just being sick a little bit and then you give birth and that's it there's a lot of ins and outs that people don't tell you so for us to even be here today i'm just so grateful to god because yeah pregnancy is a lot and i think honestly i sit here and i just appreciate my mom more and more and more every single day because yeah this stuff is not easy um 
but yeah you know just so so grateful and also so grateful for the support system that i've had it's just been a wonderful and amazing journey and i think i'm definitely really ready to meet him and to be a mummy and i know life is about to change so much but i'm really looking forward to meeting him and just having him in my arms you know and i think now because we're so close i have like dreams about him and stuff like that so that's quite exciting and i just wonder who he's gonna look like we've obviously seen his 4d but you can't 100 percent tell like is he looking like tafazwa or is he looking like me or maybe he might just look like one of our relatives like who knows do you know what i mean so really 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 excited but yeah that's my hospital bag all packed i will definitely really try to do the first um second trimester recap so i hope you guys really enjoy this video um and yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time Mwah. Hi guys, um, so I'm just finishing off this video because there are a couple of things that I didn't show in the hospital bag. Um, so, excuse how I look. <sighs> I wish I could let you guys know how tired I am. Like, honestly, pregnancy tired is a whole different type of tired. Like, I can't explain it to you unless you yourself have experienced it. Like, it's a lot. Excuse the mess after baby shower um this whole house was a mess the baby's room was a mess and it still kind of is so i'm just going through everything right now trying to sort it out because the baby's room was completely done and it's a place that's untouched um but we've had to just yeah move a lot of stuff and start packing some of his stuff that he obviously got from the baby shower and stuff like that so everything is just a mess right now and i'm just exhausted absolutely exhausted um but yeah so this was the shirt that i had mentioned so the night dress shirt dress thing so this is what it looks like i don't know if you can even see that properly but yeah it's a nice baggy one and this one was from primark i uh, can't remember how much it was but yeah it's just really important to just have um baggy clothes i also have those two oversized t-shirts i realized i didn't show them so i got a white one so this just came out the wash so it's super wrinkly so it's absolutely massive can just wear it with like leggings or something um just to make sure that i'm super comfy because obviously i don't know what's going to happen at the hospital i might get a c-section or whatever um so you just need to be prepared and really comfy so i also have a massive black one as well so these are actually oversized i didn't get like any bigger size i got this in a size small um so there were a couple of things that i haven't actually put in my hospital bag that um i forgot uh, so let me just look at my list so i still need to get a dressing gown um but I don't know what kind of dressing gown I'm going to get. Because obviously I'm usually quite cold. Um, but during the third trimester I've been hot, like boiling. Like right now I'm boiling. I'm really, really boiling. So I don't know if I will get like a really um, thin one. Um, or if I will get like a, a fluffy one. Just because it might be a little bit chilly. I don't know what the hospital is going to be like. Um yes and underwear so i got this from primark as well so these go over like your your belly these are really stretchy i tried them on the other day and even with my pregnancy belly so comfortable like i can't believe how comfortable they are so they're just massively stretchy and obviously they are like a a brief type of underwear so i've taken a few of those and then um oh yeah so um one of my mummy friends did recommend to just get some straws because she said that one of her mummy friends um basically said that when you're in labor it's just easier to just like sip out of your straw when you are really like dehydrated and stuff so um just drinking water and whatever else so i'll just take those just in case and i still need to just buy 
the always like underwear so you know the postpartum ones apparently those are really comfortable for both c-section and uh, vaginal birth because obviously they need to be like kind of paddy so i think those are like two in one so underwear plus the pad type of thing but i'm not 100 percent sure but um i will have to just look into that because a lot of people have recommended so i'm gonna get those um and apparently the price tag on those is a little bit expensive as well but yeah i will but yeah i'll definitely be looking into getting some of those and the last thing that i actually forgot to buy was some nipple cream so i'll probably just hop onto amazon in a second and just order those um but yeah i think that's pretty much it but like i said in the at the start of the video i will do the list of everything or i will just link where i found my list um and then you guys can have a look also yesterday i posted all of baby stuff that i have got for him um like from the baby shower and everything like that um and obviously a lot of you are asking where certain things are from so i may just do a video tomorrow <laughs> i do it tomorrow um where i just share with you guys um my favorite things and why i picked them and also just share my whole registry list because what i did whenever somebody bought something i would delete it off my list just delete it so everything that's left is just that um so i have to like remake it and then share the link with you guys as well and then i'll sh share and i'll also share my amazon stuff that i've got as well because i didn't sync my amazon onto my um registry list like the smaller things that i have so i'll share that as well so i'll do that video hopefully tomorrow and then it should be out sometime this week but if i have forgotten anything from my hospital bag for all of you guys that have already had babies um please do let me know and just recommend some stuff to me i'd really appreciate it because i really don't want to forget anything as you guys probably know i'm so like ocd and so like overly prepared that's just yeah that's how i work so i know if i don't have something i'm going to be panicking so i would really appreciate that but i'll probably go through everything again just to make sure i have absolutely everything for me and baby but yeah that's all for this video guys and i hope you enjoy it um i'll see you guys next time